guys? I'm Arsene from RossmarTech.com and this is another tutorial in Objective-C programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to use a for loop. So let's get started. Now what is a loop? Well a loop is something in a programming language that keeps on going until certain conditions are no longer met. Once the conditions are no longer met the, the loop will stop. So in this class I'm going to show you how to use a for loop. There are other loops and I'm going to show you those other loops in another class but so but in this class I'll show you how the for loop works so let's get started now the first thing we're going to need to do is declare a variable I'm going to type in int because I want to use a integer data type and I'm going to give my variable a name I'm going to call my variable red and I want to okay I'm just going to end it like that we're not going to give our variable red any value so now we're going to start the for loop so this is the syntax of a for loop we type in for hit space open and close parentheses now inside this open and close parentheses we're going to type in three different expressions. Now our first expression we're going to give value to our variable red. We're just like setting the counter basically for our loop. So we're saying uh, red is equal to one and end the witty semicolon. So we s this is our first expression. We gave value to our variable red and that I give it a value of one. So let's type in our second expression. Our second expression we're going to say red is either less than or equal to, let's say, five. So this is our second expression here. And this expression, we said as long as our variable red is less than or equal to five, the loop will continue going. So this is gonna test whether or not our variable red is less than or equal to five. As long as it's true, the loop will keep on going. Once this is false, the loop will stop. So now let's type in our third expression. Our third expression, we're going to either increment or decrement our variable red. I'm going to increment, so we're going to say red is equal to red then plus one. We don't have to end this with a semicolon. We're not going to end this third expression with a semicolon here. So these are our three expressions. Again, this is the syntax of our for loop, right? We start off by typing in four hit space, open and close parentheses. Inside the open and close parentheses, we type in three expressions. Our first expression, we're giving our uh, counter to the loop. So we're giving our variable red a, a value of one, and the counter starts at one. So now our second expression here, we're testing for conditions. As long as these conditions are met, the loop will keep on going. Once this condition is false, the loop stops. So once basically the, our variable red or our counter gets to a, a number greater than five, the loop will break. So basically once it gets to six, the loop stops. And our third and final expression here, it's adding one to uh, our variable red. Every time the loop happens, our variable red is gonna be incremented by one. So this is what that's doing right now. So now we gotta give it something to do. Every time the loop happens, it has to do something. So we're gonna have it uh, print out the variable red itself on the screen. So we're gonna use the NS log to do this. So capital N, S, L, lowercase O, lowercase G, hit space, open and close parentheses, end it with a semicolon. So now inside this open and close parentheses, I'm gonna type in this at symbol, a set of double quotes, so that's two double quotes. Inside the set of double quotes, we're gonna type in our placeholder for our variable, because I wanna print out the value of our variable red. So we're gonna type in percent symbol i because it has an integer data type. So percent symbol here, then i. Again, this is our placeholder for our integer uh, data type variable, and our variable name is red. So after this set of double quotes here, we're gonna type in comma, hit space. Now we gotta tell it what variable to pass through here. So our variable name is red, so I'm gonna type in red. So now, every time the loop happens, it's gonna print out the value of the variable red. So let's test it out, let's hit play here. Build failed. Now why did this fail? Okay, the build failed because I forgot to add a semicolon after our second expression. Our first expression, we have to add a semicolon when we're giving the variable red a value. And our second expression here, we gotta give it, a, I'm sorry, we have to add a semicolon at the end when we're uh, telling it uh, what to compare. But our third expression, we don't need a semicolon when we're incrementing or decrementing. So let's hit play again. Build succeeded. And as you can see down here, 
it printed out one, two, three, four, and five. It didn't print anything else because, again, once the number is greater than or not equal to five, the loop stops. So once the number be, uh, became six, the loop broke. So that's why it didn't print anything else other than one, two, three, four, and five. So that's pretty much it. So uh, actually, let, let me show you something else. You can do the exact opposite. If you want to start your counter from, a, from let's say, 10, right? So now we set our counter red here to 10. So now we, we could see over here, as long as our variable red, let's make this 10 here, as long as our variable red is uh, greater than, all right, so actually let's make this one a one here. So, and now let's change this from a plus because we're uh, incrementing to a minus. Now we're gonna decrement. So this is the exact opposite way of doing it, but it does the exact same thing. So again, we, we changed our variable red, we gave it a value of 10. So now our counter is at 10. And we changed it from less than to greater than and equal to one. So as long as our variable red is greater than or equal to one, the loop will continue. Once that's false, the loop will stop. So it, this is pretty much doing the same thing, but the opposite way. So let's test it out. The build succeeded, and it, as you can see down here, it did the opposite. It printed out 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, because we started our variable red with a value of 10. And now in our second expression, we said, as long as our variable red is greater than, this is the greater than symbol here, or equal to 1, the loop will continue. Once that's false, the loop will stop. So over here, we're decrementing, we're minusing one from our variable, right? Every time the loop happens, it's gonna minus one. Then it's gonna print out the value. So that's why you print that out, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rosen from RosenProtect.com. Thanks for watching.